Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be looking for the perfect chest and hopefully Heyday will give it to me. But you never know. Now the chest is something I've always tried to get as I look around the different farms and in this case I've got a farm pass task which is very nice as well. Now the farm pass said open 5 mystery boxes and you'll get 50 points which is kind of cool because 50 points would allow me to progress across my board very nicely up to 109 points. I can get that beautiful decoration, claim some other rewards that you get within the game and in addition to some nice little perks as well. Now the perks are the best point, as is the decoration. Some of the expansion materials and other things, they're nice, but not really what I care much about. The XP. Now the XP is very nice indeed. That will allow me to get closer and closer to my goal of 200 and another beautiful decoration, which I would love to get as well. But we will see indeed. Now, with the farm pass itself, there are two roads. Remember, there's the paid road and the free road. It's your choice if you want to buy it. You don't have to. However, the benefits on the free road are not as nice as they are as on the paid road. And personally, I feel the fee is not that expensive anyway. However, that's not the main focus of the game today. Now, what are chests? Now, there are two kinds of chests within the game. Uh, one of them is a red chest and one of them is an ocean chest. But the ones I want are the actual toolboxes, which are the red chests located around the farm. Now, if you're looking around the farm, you'll sometimes see the little sparklies in a red box that's digging out of the ground like so. It's either locked or unlocked. If you tap the left-hand corner where you can see the little dash, you can see the probabilities as to what would be inside a locked one. Now, if it's unlocked, okay, you might get similar kind of rewards. Uh, you may not get as much. So remember, they do vary. If you're spending the diamonds to unlock them, then the rewards tend to be a little bit on the better side sometimes, but not always, not always. Sometimes you might just get a standard expansion material or you may get boosters. You could even get diamonds. Personally, I like the boosters and I like the deco and I like the diamonds. Expansion materials, yeah, I can take or leave it doesn't matter. Coins are nice though, but uh, yes. Now the 50 points have been done, which is wonderful indeed. Right, now, uh, in relation to these chests that you're looking for, sometimes they are easy to find, sometimes they are not easy to find. When you're looking around your farm, uh, you are looking for the sparkly effect, but if you're like me and you have a brand new design that is over overly decorated, it's not going to be easy to find those items. So you may want to go to a farm that doesn't have as much decoration, or if they do have a lot of decoration, head on over to where Maggie's located, and you can see the chest located just there, which makes it easier to find in itself. Now, my farm pass, I've got my 50 points. There's XP to be claimed, which I will do later. And there's Deco, which I will do later as well. I want to collect those all in one go. Another task done. I've now got one more task left to do for this cycle of tasks. And that'll be fun indeed. Right, now, uh, as I said, it's very difficult to try to find a chest on a busy farm. Okay, when you've got something like this where it's heavily designed, uh, not always easy. So it's the sparkles you are looking for, unless of course the chest is in the clear. I've got too many green spaces. The other one I mentioned is in the town, which is floating, sorry, floating, <laughs> floating on the ocean like so. So somewhere out there, there is a ship that has sunk and all of the chests keep coming. Now, I wish I could see the sunken ship because it would be super cool, uh, but I don't think that's ever going to be added into the game. Now, speaking of adding into the game, I've got all of my animals. I'm super happy. I did the boat event the other day, and now I have every single puzzle piece, and I have every single animal, and very pleased about that indeed. So everybody that helped me, thank you very much. Now, what I did do, because I had some very key helpers during the last day, not only did I get the four decoration, which is a shame I wanted eight decoration, but I I also named my animals as well. So there you go, Heidi, thank you very much for the help. And the other one down there, Gerda, thank you very much as well. Uh, I really appreciate you two helping me quite a lot in 
the second day there. Uh, also as well, we've got down here Uncle Paul. He's in my team as well. He wanted to be named after the gorilla since he did a lot of help for me. And BR was there as well, I noticed. So guys, thank you very much. Everybody else, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. If you would like to be named as one of my animals, let me know. I do have some spaces still available for some of my pets. Uh, I'm very happy to change the names and have you guys down there. Um, whether you're in my streams or whether you're supporting me or chatting with me, let me know and maybe I could choose you as being one of the animals. Maybe you'd like to be a big fat elephant or you might like to be a mama gorilla or maybe even a long neck giraffe. Maybe you fancy being a donkey. So we've got a few asses still out there. You might even want to be a dog or a cat or maybe even one of my other animals. I wish we could name the bees. I really do. That would be so much fun indeed. Right now it's back to the chest. Now sometimes you can get chests very easily, sometimes not. For the ocean ones, head on over to your neighbours. Pick up the chests uh, when you're picking up the visitors, but always check the ocean. No matter how many times you visit someone else's, always check the ocean. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not, but 90% of the time it's there. Unless of course you just picked one up. Now, that picking one up or collecting a chest, there is a kind of a pattern to it. You're not going to find a chest uh, or a crate every time you visit someone. What you need to do first of all is play the game, then look, play the game, then look, play the game, then look. And if you do it like that, then quite often they do spawn. Now, there are three chests within the game. There's like a small, a medium, and a large. Now, personally, I like a large, big chest. Uh, who doesn't? Uh, because the benefits and rewards from having a big chest are much, much greater than, let's just say, a small, tiny one. Now, small, tiny ones are still very perky indeed. Um, you can get some nice rewards out of them, but the bigger the chest, the better the reward, as they say. However, the cost to open does increase with the chest. So small chests don't cost you as much. Uh, a larger chest will be more expensive and a gigantic chest will be even more expensive. And I'm talking diamonds here. So the more diamonds uh, you've got in your collection, the better it is for opening up those chests within the game. Now, when it comes down to the town, as an example, it costs you, let's just say, five diamonds to open up a floating chest. For a small chest on the farm, it's like three diamonds for the basic one. Now, at the end of the day, is it worth it or not? Now, personally, I don't think it's worth it that much. Uh, I think I get a better return from Tom. So, as an example, if I hire Tom for one day, that's 15 diamonds, which is equivalent of like three ocean chests, as an example. Uh, but Tom is there for 24 hours, give or take his sleeping cycle, so you're down to 12 hours, and of course you miss it and you're sleeping, uh, or you're sleeping for like eight hours during nap. So, you could probably get Tom for about five or six times, uh, depending on when you activate him. Make sure you set your alarm clock and use a speeded up uh, sleeping booster as well with Tom makes it so much better. Right, now Tom, as an example, will collect maximum of nine for you. So one five diamond floating chest or three diamond chest may give you, let's just say, one saw, whereas Tom will give you nine saws. So the cost to return ratio is definitely better with Tom, and that is for sure. But it's not as fun. Actually, it is kind of fun, but it's not so much fun. I personally like opening a chest a lot more. Uh, finding an unopened chest is definitely more fun. Finding a locked chest and then contemplating, do I do it or not? Yes, no, yes, no. It's all down to you at the end of the day. Now, you can get three diamonds within the game. So you get the diamonds from the fishing area, from collecting the fish, which can be very nice indeed. You've got four key weights down there. So one, two, three, or four diamonds. You've also got diamonds from the mine. So if you're doing mine tasks, the diamonds do mount up as well. Plus there's the events. Now, if you do get those diamonds, uh, you can usually spend them on expanding the production machines, which I think is the bigger priority. Um, also buying decoration like the dirt path and the water dishes, which I think is a good idea for diamonds, actually. So yes, you can get lots of those and they can be very wonderful in their design. Or you can save them for opening up the chests. Like I said, cost ratio, Tom is a little bit better, but you need more time to use him.
Right, now, uh, if you do open up the chests, one of the best things about it is often the boosters. The boosters can be very nice indeed. Now, you've seen that I've collected some boosters already. Now, remember with the boosters you're getting from a chest that you're opening, because it's costing you diamonds to open. These boosters are actually diamond boosters in their self. They don't actually... Um, go into the free option, they go into the paid part of the chest, which is better. Uh, so that is much more wonderful in many, many ways. Uh, so you don't have to pay to keep those ones, which is good. They just keep adding and adding and adding. Now you've noticed that I've gone back to BDRs a few times. Now the reason I've gone back to him is because he doesn't have the decoration down there, which makes it easier for me to find. Now I love decoration, uh, and personally I am a heavy decoration designer. I love to buy decoration all the time. And I really do like these beautiful uh, decorative pieces that we are getting in the game. And I'm making some videos for this custom decoration now. Now the only trouble is it does cost a lot of green vouchers. So my green vouchers do go down very, very quickly indeed. Um, and then it's not just the green vouchers, it's also the coins as well, which can be rather pricey as well. Uh, but to decorate is a lot of fun. So if you are interested in decorating, save those vouchers, start spending, enjoy, go for it, have fun, do like I do, and look at that, a beautiful new upgraded deco piece for a uh, hundred green vouchers. Can I do the next one? I wonder, what have we got? There's a beautiful silver, there's green. I like the silver, I really, really do. 55,000 gold coins. Yeah, I've got enough money for this one. So, oh, I could go with the green. Mm. No, I don't like that color. I don't think green's good with that one. Doesn't match my color of the base. Gold is pretty as well, but mm, that's not bad. But no, 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 no. I like the first one. Silver there. Look at that. That balances much more nicely. <gasps> oh, that looks good. That looks good. Now I've got 48,000 left. How much would it cost me for the next one? You know, my luck's going to be like 100 odd thousand. So let's have a look. Ooh, we've got some choices. White, pink, and blue. Oh, yep, 80,000. <gasps> oh, I like that. Oh, I do like that one. That's nice. So pink is pretty too. Ooh, I've got some choices. Right, decoration. Wonderful. If you can get a custom decoration, remember custom decoration comes in the farm pass. Uh, it also comes in the top three of the derby. So hopefully you've got team members that participate very well. Uh, and you can actually get in the top three and claim the decoration. Not always possible. It depends on the teams you're up against. But uh, we will see on that side. Uh, but I must admit, I do like the way some of these pieces look. And it is so tempting, so tempting. Mm, trouble is, the base is the next part, and I don't always want the base down there. I kind of like like the, the blank element, but I wish I could upgrade it more and just keep the stony or the rocky base like it is the way it is at the moment, without having to have the rocks or the metal or the fence around it. Um, still, um, they do look nice. They do look nice indeed. And I suppose at the end of the day, if you're going with a fountain as an example, you've got to kind of match it up with real life anyway. Right, now, uh, this is not really doing a chest, so why am I spending time doing other things? It's the fact that the chests don't always spawn. Um, so basically, as you're doing farm activities, the chests come up. Uh, if you're always looking, 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 as an example, then you're just going to waste your time, keep looking, because the chest won't come up. Uh, because you've already done one. So what you need to do is to be doing some farm activities like I'm doing, then go chest hunting. Doing farm activities, then go chest hunting. Uh, at the moment within the game, there's a beautiful event on, so uh, I'm not really doing all of my orders. Uh, I'm trashing the ones that I could request on and just keeping the event orders. Then people can come and fill those and claim the rewards, which is much better. So Turkey's been helping me out and he does a lot of help during the events for me as well. So again, thank you 
Vinti merch. Love his designs, by the way. So a very beautiful layout there. I could enjoy that one. Now, this section down here is the best part. Oh, I like those trees. Look at that beautiful green and red there. Uh, nice, nice, nice. Now, for me, that's a lot of decoration, but that's what I'm looking for. Now, you mentioned uh, the fact that, uh, as an example, the prices go up per the chest, but sometimes the rewards can be a little bit better. 10 diamonds for this one, that's more than that. And I got two planks this time. So one plank is like three, two planks is like 10. <laughs> Not so good in that case, was it? So, oh my God, hey there, you ripped me off. You charged me extra. But it was nice to open a bigger chest. I want the gigantic one, that would be better, but I don't think I'm gonna get that in the time I'm looking. Now, he's got a lot of decoration, as have other farmers as well. So, just where you saw me open that one is one of the better locations to actually find chests indeed. Oh, I love that purple. Really cute indeed. So, make sure you head on down to that area every time and look. Unless, of course, they're like empty. Right, a few more orders down there to do. Get that one done as well, and that's on its way. Beautiful indeed. <gasps> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Now, if you do have a lot of heavy decoration, you are looking for the stars, the little sparkly bits that are like glistening in the dark, kind of like what's coming off this one here. And if you're lucky, you will be able to find a chest within the bushes. You know, other thing as well, like if you are getting rewards you don't want, you don't have to keep them. You can sell them, which is more currency for your game. People see that you're selling the items as well, which is wonderful, and they may start following you. If they follow you or they friend you within the game, as an example, uh, then you've got the ability to get help during events. Uh, plus, if someone does follow you, as an example, or they become your friend within the game, you can also go and visit them as well. And if they do something, it's like a two-way streak which can be very nice um, now if they request to join your neighborhood or they invite you to join theirs uh, which is what Heidi did the other day she invited me to join her hoodie and then every time I went over during the event not only was she helping me with my crates but if I couldn't request on items I would go to her through that help that request to join her hoodie uh, and then I could visit and then there will be the items in the last part of her stall and wonderful 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 that's one reason why I named my animal after her so very cool indeed very cool indeed I did like it right what else have we got down there let's go back to my friends let's go visit again this is red up now red is heavy decorated but as you can see the chest is down by maggie what is he going to give me three diamonds just a stick of dynamite all oh, two sticks of dynamite that's okay i like that one yeah that was good so thank you very much anything else oh i see a sparkly look there's a sparkly in my bushes not always easy to see but if you do that's a chest there to be opened and it's hidden behind my tree almost missed that one this is the thing about having decoration you can't always see everything but I wonder what's gonna be so would it be something wonderful would it be something terrible would it be something fantastic it's three blue vouchers yay now that one I am happy with I like that one for me the vouchers from the chest are a very good option indeed and I like that one right back to my town nothing there let's go have a little visit anything down there no. oh there's one i'll take that one what's that going to be five diamonds again and one nail mm, not a good return tom's still better but then again tom can't always get expansion materials he can pick up items that you can buy within the game or most items that you can produce but he's not able to collect all of the expansion materials that we would like uh, so on that side i'm afraid we can't really use tom for everything um, he's good for saws and axes but um those sems or bem or lems as we call them so lems means land expansion materials bems is barn sems is silos fems is fishing area thames is town so town expansion materials nope he doesn't do those ones i'm afraid which is a shame i really wish he would do that 
Right, looking still, looking still, looking. No, nothing, no more sparklies. I know, I'm going to go back to somebody else's farm. They're bound to have one that's in the clear. I've shown lots of open space here on BDRs. There we go, I thought so. And take that one again, unlock it. Ooh, coin booster. I don't mind that one, that's nice. So there we go, over in the end. We've got quite a few boosters there. So five boosters from chests. That's actually not so bad. That's not bad indeed. That's a, a good bit of work. Can't get boosters from Tom either. So return-wise, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with that one. But then again, if I bought booster packs from within the game, um, then it would be probably less expensive anyway. So nice. Right, got some more bushes down there I need to harvest from. You know, I don't think I'll be requesting any more helps, not at the moment, but I will save these helps for the event that's up and coming this week. Uh, this week's uh, events has a help event, and that one is part of the Ramadan celebration. Um, Heyday has definitely been celebrating Ramadan uh, on behalf of the community quite a bit. I hope that one day that Heyday adds in more. I'd love to see Diwali added in as well, the Indian Light Festival. Uh, there's some beautiful decorative pieces that we could have some decoration covered in multiple paint splashes. Uh, maybe change of clothing costumes for the characters as well. Some other architectural pieces as well. For the valley, they've been giving us some beautiful statue decorations that relate to places and locations around the world. So that I do like as well. Now, the next valley decoration is very cool indeed, and I will reveal that one very soon, or as soon as we get closer to the actual valley starting time. Anyway, like 24 hours before I can tell you. Yeah, but uh, yes, 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 indeed. Some nice decoration. I like the last one. Trouble is, very skinny though. I kind of like the chunky, wider decoration. So the, the fatter statue pieces. A little bit better for me. Right, I think I've got time for a few more chests. We're getting very close to the end here, so maybe this will be my last one. This will be my last one. What's it going to be? Last one of the day. Oh, another boost up. A fish boost up. Oh, I like that one. That'll be good for a fishing event. I need a fishing event. Hey, Dave, please give me one soon. Right, everybody. Now, it's been all about finding a perfect chest. I love a big chest. I love a small chest. I love a medium-sized chest. I love chests in the water as well, uh, or chests on the farm. Yeah. If you can get them, it's your choice choice whether to spend the diamonds to open or not it's down to you at the end of the day like i said tom is probably a better deal in relation to getting some things but tom can't give you the expansion materials and he can't give you the boosters um but he can do other things for you as well so, do you want to do it or not? Well, if you want to chat with me, you want to watch more of my videos, you're interested in the content I make on my channel, you know what you can do? You can subscribe. That's more important for me. Yeah. Enjoy my videos. I will see you next time. Take care, have fun. And in addition to subscribing, which you should be doing now, hit the bell notification as well. Bye now.